Hey guys, welcome back to Fixing It. And today we're gonna to change the front brakes on this Honda Pilot. Okay, we're gonna start by breaking loose the lug nuts. This is a 22 millimeter. You just take a breaker ball and just break them loose. They're really tight. You could kind of step on this to get leverage. Okay, now let's jack the car up. Put the parking brake on, but if you're doing back brakes, leave it off, okay? All right, chuck the back wheel. If you don't have one of these, you can always use a piece of wood or even a big rock. All right, guys, refer to your owner's manual for the jacking points on your car. Uh, I like to always put it in a, in a spot where like there's a rail, okay? So don't put it up here because uh, it'll go right through your floor pan, okay? So we jacked it up. We're gonna put it on a jack stand just for safety. Okay, you got the car on the jack stand. I'm gonna keep the jack in place just in case. And I also got the tire underneath the car for extra safety, okay? Okay, I turned the wheel to get better access to these bolts. So this is a caliper and you need to take off this 17 millimeter and this one down here. Okay, once you break these loose, you can just undo them by hand. Okay, now you could remove the caliper. If it's stuck, you could use a screwdriver just to pry this off, okay? And once you take it off, don't let it hang by the brake line because you're gonna make damages. So you're gonna bungee it up here someplace. Okay, the caliper's tied up up here. Now it's time to take off these pads. Remove the spring over here. This just pops off. And there should be another one on the bottom. I don't know what happened to it, but anyway, now the pads just slide off. Okay, now it's time to remove this bracket. In order to do that, you need to remove these two bolts over here. Okay, use your breaker bar to break these loose. These are 19 millimeters. Okay, so now you may have a problem here because you have this thing in the way. So you're either gonna need an extension or just a wrench. Okay, now you gotta take off these screws. Uh, there's usually two, you don't even need these things. This is just to hold the road in place, but just hit it. I had put some some uh, anti seize on these so they don't lose. But you don't, you don't really need them because uh, lug nuts hold this in place. So, but anyway, now you could take off the rotor. All right, this rotor came out pretty easy because I had put some uh, uh, grease or some anti seize over here. Um, if it gets stuck on you, just whack it around this area. Try not to hit the uh, the studs but you whack it until it comes off. So now we're gonna start taking off some of these, uh, the hardware for this. And we're gonna take a wire brush to clean this up, okay? Next, we're gonna remove the slide pins. Okay, we're gonna clean these up and re-grease them, okay? All right, these are your new uh, brake pads. And this is uh, your new hardware, okay? So we'll just put those on there. All right, throw a little grease on this first. Now you can put your hardware. Okay, these brackets have like these little tabs right here. You can bend them up so the bracket doesn't slide from side to side. You don't have to, but 
I just did it. All right, I'm gonna try to clean these boots a little bit. You can actually take them off if you want. Okay, let me try to clean inside. Just pop them back in. Okay, now you're gonna use some of this uh, silicone grease to um, lubricate the pins. The reason you use silicone is because it doesn't mess up the rubber piece, okay? You don't want it to swell up. Okay. So this one goes on top. Slide that in place. Make sure the rubber boot goes over this. Okay, I'm gonna throw some grease on these brackets a little bit. So when the pads go in there, they slide back and forth easy. And this is so the rotor doesn't get stuck on there. All right, these are your new rotors. Make sure you're cleaning with a brake cleaner. Because they come with some kind of coating from the factory so they don't rust. I mean, these look painted. It's not too dirty, but. Okay, when you're putting your rotors on, make sure that you put them on so these holes match up with these holes. So. Just like that, okay. Now you can put your screw to hold it in place. If you don't wanna put the screw on, you can leave them off and just use uh, a lug nut or something to hold it in place. Throw your bracket on. Okay, remove the reservoir cap. Just leave it loose like that. Next, you want to compress the piston. So what you want to do, take an old brake pad and just put it in place and then take a clamp and just clamp it in place. And it doesn't take much pressure to do this. All right, these are your new brake pads, okay? These are the old ones. See the difference in the pad material? Okay, and this one has the wear sensor, this one, okay? So what it does is when it wears down to where this piece of metal is, the rotor starts hitting that metal and that's why you're hearing the squeaking, okay? So this one goes on the inside and it goes on top, okay? Because it's a, the, as the wheel turn, you want it to be on the leading edge, okay? I'm gonna put a little grease on this, in the back of this. All right, when you put these on, make sure you put them with the material facing the rotor. <laughs> Don't put them the other way, because then you're gonna have metal hitting the rotor, and that's not good, okay? So what you're gonna do is just put these in here like this. 
Not in one place. And this one. Okay. All right, now you gotta put on these little springs. They go in these little holes on top here. And when you put them on, just hold the pads together so he wants to push the pad out. So, you got one there. And then one on the bottom. Okay. So, now you can take your caliper. Okay, make sure the flat spot goes flush against here. So this sits flush like that, okay? Same thing on the bottom. All right, guys, this is basically done. All you gotta do is put the wheel back on. Just make sure when you put this uh, caliper back on, this brake line is not all twisted up, okay? And also the shield, make sure it doesn't, it's not rubbing against the rotor like that. So just make sure it's a little way, okay? Just increase on the rotor so the wheel doesn't get stuck. All right, guys, when you're tying these, do it on a star pattern, okay? So the tire goes on evenly. And torque them to 94 foot-pounds. Okay, top this off if you have to, and then put the cap back on. Okay, make sure you pump the brakes, because at first they're gonna go down to the floor, okay? All right, guys, that's how you do brakes on a Honda Pilot. I hope this video helped you out. Like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.